hey guys in this video we are going to learn about conditional statements in java okay so up until now we have been writing several lines of codes and every line executes one after another but what if in my code i wanted to use certain condition and if the if only the condition is true then only i would execute some lines of code and if it is false then i would execute other lines of codes so how do we actually do that for example let us say we are performing several operations on some numbers for example let us say we are performing several operations on a number n what if at some point i only want to operate this number if only want to update this number if this number if n is greater than 0 that is if only the n is positive so how do we actually write conditions in java so to, to do that we java has provided us with conditional statements like if else and there are there are uh, several others like else if and we also have some switch cases but we are not going to discuss that here so we'll just stick to these three okay so let us understand them one by one so first of all if so if is the most basic conditional statement so what if does is inside this block of if we actually specify some condition and if this condition is true then only the statements ex uh, written inside this if block would execute for example if i say that if the uh, if n is greater than zero then only i want to run these lines of course and we can also have after this an optional else block so this is not necessary but we can have it so what this is that if this is not true then only this block would run okay so if we have certain situation where we want to have statements which run only when some condition is true and other statements which run when the condition is false then we use if else block so let us see how this actually works using a simple program so i am going to do is i am going to take an example of a number is even or odd so let me first declare a variable and let me just name it n and i am going to provide a value of 10 so what i am want to do is check if the number is even or odd so to check if a number is even what i can do is to check if the number is completely divisible by 2 so to check if a number is completely divisible by 2 what i can do is to check if the remainder when the number is divided by 2 is 0 or not so as we know if a number is even so for example for 16 if it is divided by 2 the remainder would be 0 right so that is why i want to check if n is divided by 2 then the remainder should be 0 now how do i compare this to 0 so this would be equal to this would be compared if we use this double equals operator so what this does is actually compare the left side with the right side and if both are equal it will return true otherwise it would return false so this e single equals was used to assign a value and this was used to check if the left side was equal to the right side and let's proceed if the number is even i am going to print okay so i am going to print even otherwise i am going to print odd so let me just copy this part and i am going to add the otherwise part in else block so if this is not true that is that is when the number is odd i am going to print odd and after that i can also write other statements for example let me just write here working so the thing that we have to understand is that this statement which is outside the if else block would function independently of these two so we don't have um, this statement doesn't depend on these two so what would happen is that if uh, uh, if the number is even this one will execute 
but after this this would be skipped and but this would run so what i want to uh, explain is that this would run always so it doesn't depend on these two so let us see what actually happens here since n is 10 so it should print even and it would print working so this working is independent of these two now if i change n to 11 it is odd so it would print odd and working see now what if i want i have two numbers for example let's say int n2 let me just let me just uh, give it a value 20 what if i want to compare it like what if i want to check if which one is this greater and if they're equal at all so let me just first check if the numbers are equal so if n1 is equal to is equal to n2 if these are these are equal i'm going to print equal okay else i have to check two other conditions right so what i am going to do is i am going to write another if else block inside this else block so it is basically a nested if else because there is another if else block inside the else block so here we can write if n1 is greater than n2 i will print here i will print greater else i will print smaller okay let's see if this works so here n2 is greater than 11 so it should print smaller and working no now how this is working so here it first check if n1 is greater than n2 n1 is equal to n2 it is not equal to so it it goes into this else block where it first checks this if else statement if this is true it would print this one and move out but this is not true right so this would this else would execute and smaller would be printed so if i change this to 20 what would happen is that it would print equal and working so this working is functioning independently of the if else block so let's see so it gives us equal now the next thing that we can do is what we can do is we are going to see another way of writing these okay so the first thing would be i use a else if so what else if is is another conditional statement which actually allows us to make the code a bit simpler so what i'm going to do is i'm going to remove this part let me just skip it and i'm going to write here if else if and here I'm going to write the greater that statement and if this is true I'm going to print greater if this is not true then I'm going to keep this else statement and this statement would be executed so let me just first run it and then I'll explain it what is happening here so what would happen here is that it would print equal yes but if i increase this 25 it would print greater okay so this should print us greater okay so it gives us greater so what is happening here is actually this if first of all this if gets executed it will it check if n1 is get equal to n2 or not so if it is not equal to n2 it will proceed to the next statement that is the else if now else if checks if n1 is greater than n2 so in this case n1 is greater than n2 so what would happen it would print greater and this will move out of the if else if block 
okay so this else would not get executed so after it moves out of here and this statement gets printed but if i decrease it for example if i make it 15 so it is neither equal nor it is greater so it would print smaller okay so it should print smaller and working This is how we get the output so i hope you understood the concept and uh, if you uh, enjoyed the video don't forget to like it and i'll see you guys in the next video thank you